Rain Life. Reap once made the proto-tumbler sect swoon when he popped up in the early 2000s with his swoopy hair and guy liner, but as he got older he slowly morphed into a student from Droma's new chem high. It must be that daglo yellow hair. Johnny Depp has filled the back half of his career with all kinds of goofy makeup, weird wigs, and fake teeth, so much so that we would forgive you for forgetting what Depp looks like under all that paint. Once you see Marilyn Manson without his makeup you kind of get why he throws on so much grease paint on his face. Good for him. There's just not a good look for Russell Brand, is there? When he's all eyelinered and hair sprayed up he looks like a goblin king who's about to steal all of your children, and when he looks clean he has the look of a substitute teacher who you want to stuff in a locker. Is boy George actually Sam Smith's older half-brother who's also a potato? At this point Steven Tyler is mostly being held together with gaff tape and cocaine. Can you even tell in which photo he's not wearing makeup? Or if those photos are even of Steven Tyler? How do you know you're not looking at a plaster skeleton? Let's face it, Noel Fielding looks really cool whether he's goth out on the set of the Mighty Boosh, or dressed in a toned down spooky guy costume. Although if we were choosing one of Fielding's looks it would be the overly made up moon face. Woof. Has Motley Crue's Nikki Six always looked like a frog that fell into a bin of cheap CVS mascara? Good for him for being a millionaire though. We loved him mentioned but he's never looked great, especially when he's wearing his Russell Brand costume, but that kindergarten school teacher thing that he has going on when he's not wearing makeup is kind of creepy. To his credit, Eddie Izzard has never tried to look particularly hot while in drag. He knows how to rock some step and makeup while he's on stage and he looks like a classy senator when he's just hanging out. He's truly the best of both worlds. Davy Havok has gone through so many changes in his career with AFI that we could probably contrast and compare all of his looks. But the vast differences between his glammed up 2006-ish persona and that creepy porno stash that he's been rocking lately is kind of like seeing your dad naked. Not only is it something that you never want to see, but you want to forget that we ever brought it up. The Cures Robert Smith has been smearing on his pancake makeup for so many decades that you would think he would just leave it on forever. Why take it off? Seeing Mr. Smith without his makeup is kind of like having a magician tell you how he does his tricks. No thanks. Admittedly, if RuPaul looked even close to similar to his drag persona we would really confuse. If you're reading this Ru, you look amazing either way. Thank you.